Another type of uh, surgery that could be done for lung diseases or mm -hmm. mostly cancers of the lungs is what we known as what is known as what a segmentectomy. All right. So all the students that have been concerned on this YouTube channel, uh, this word will not be a uh, foreign word to you because we've spoken about lobectomy, we've spoken about what pneumonectomy, we've spoken about wedge resection. Okay, and segmentectomy is more of like the last one that we're talking about. All right. So looking at the four different types of what surgeries that could be done for the lungs, we're actually talking about what this segmentectomy. So if you know the anatomy of the lungs. I think that's all, all right, because you know that the lungs have lobes, the lungs have segments. So if you know these two, segmentectomy is more of like just removing the segments that are affected. Lobectomy is more of like removing the lobe that is affected. Pneumonectomy is what? Removing one whole lung away. Wedge resection is more of like there's a small tumor here. So I'm not just resect just that place, okay? So that's just the difference. So we're talking about this segmentectomy. Um, we we'll talk about its application, all right? Like which disease condition would be best to use a segmentectomy. We we'll talk about the types of segmentectomy. Talk about the procedure. We we'll talk about the benefits. Talk about the risks. Like if you do a segmentectomy, to result to some things and all that. We'll talk about recovery, possible recovery time for the patient. So this segmentectomy is actually what a surgical procedure to remove. A segment of the lung, right? So I think this image is much more clearer. All right. So just remove one segment. You are not removing the whole loop, okay? So you remove one segment of the lungs, which is actually what a smaller unit of the lung than a loop. So you are not removing the whole loop, just some part of the loop, right? Now, its application include if you have an early stage lung cancer, you can use this. If you have a benign lung tumor, you can use this. If you have lung abscess or cavities, you can use this. If you have a severe lung damage or scarring, you can use this, right? Then talking about the types of what segmentectomies that we can do, um, you could do some anatomical segmentectomy, all right? And this one, you are removing a specific segment of the lung tissue. They can also do a non-anatomical segmentectomy, which is to remove a wedge-shaped portion of the lung tissues, right? Don't really worry about these types. Okay, it's kind of like advanced, right? Then talking about the procedure now. Of course, this is invasive. If I want to get to the lungs, I must go through the chest cavity and all that, right? So I'll give the patient a general anesthesia. So I can do an open surgery or I can do a video-assisted or thoracoscopic surgery, right? Then you identify the segment, since it's segmentectomy, identify the segment that has a problem, then you remove it, right? You dissect and remove the segment. Then after you're done, you close the chest cavity, you close the lungs, you take the patient back to the ward. As simple as it sounds, right? Benefits. Yeah. Since you are not removing a whole lobe, at least you are preserving some lung tissues than the lobectomy or pneumonectomy. All right, which are much more what advanced surgeries. Then it has minimal invasive options which are available. Then it is also diagnostic and therapeutic in one procedure. All right, you can open, do the surgery, and still apply some chemotherapy. Do you understand? Then it can be performed on patients with poor lung function. Risks if I'm doing this surgery, what are the potential risks that I'm trying to look at? Uh, the patient could bleed. They could develop an infection from the surgery. That's things you use and are sterile enough, or the wound care after the surgery is not relevant enough, right? There could be air leak, there could be respiratory complications, there could be pain, right? Then talking about the recovery time, hospital stay could be if you do the video assisted thorac uh, thoracoscopy, which is basically like you are invading the patient just minimally, it could take two to five days, all right? Or if you are doing the open surgery, which is much more what invasive, take like five to seven days. All right, then you manage for pain management, uh, chest tube removal, follow up appointments, then gradual return to normal activities. Right, so that's it about what segmentectomy, uh, which is basically a surgery to remove 
a segment of the lungs. So see you guys from the applications, types, procedures, benefits, risks, recovery. So that's it and bye for now.